So guys, welcome to today's video about publishing a Minikube pod to the public internet. How I came to this video? Well, I bought myself a Raspberry Pi. which I wanted to populate with some services and then publish them to the public internet. For our purposes, a basketball. So, on my Raspberry Pi, there is I guess I'm going to need a larger rectangle for that. There is a Docker container. With my service, for example, I don't know, let's call it echo service. Which means that it replies with the request values that I send in. And I want a user from the public internet be able to call my service inside my homemade server. So he does like HTTP GET, HTTP GET. This is going to be more of an overview video rather than a tutorial with uh, some more specified steps. So if you want to um, read about Kubernetes and Minikube or routing in general, you can find some resources on the internet. I want to capture my research that I did when, when I was trying to work through this and I didn't found any. So I somehow meshed it together and it works now. So I want to user from public internet to be able to access my server on my uh, my service on my Raspberry Pi. So my echo service has for example 80 port 80 standard http port and the user also calls get on port 80. User goes from the internet through my ISP provider modem because I have it like physical device at my home. Let's hope nobody does some security stuff. So this is my ISP modem. I'm not going to into the terminology of modem and router. It's they call it modem, so it's modem. So user calls my modem with port 80. And I also have some DNS record somewhere in the internet so he goes his first request like from the dns and then he gets my ip let's call my ip uh, for example 1111 so this is what user gets from the dns and he calls from the public internet get 1111 on port 80. And I want to do this internal routing, which is at my home. 
Oh, oh, our house is green, so this is inside my house. My screen turned off. <laughs> So, does it still record? Seems to. So he calls my IP, which which comes to my home, to the modem. And now I want to do this internal routing in my house. Back back to the user. So, this Docker container is surround it in a pod in a kubernetes pod if you want to know more about this terminology about pods and stuff just google it it's there are a lot of resources on the internet <clears throat> and this pod have its own internal ip let's call it Two 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 two. And it exposes ports. So this my service has port eighty exposed only from the Docker container itself. And I want to expose it through the pod. So I say that the pod has routing. 80 80 if somebody from the outside comes to the port 80 it will be sent to this port 80 i hope it's still readable so what is around the pod Around the pod, there is also a replica set and deployment, but that doesn't really uh, matter to us. Around the pod, there is service. So this pod is surrounded into a service. And the service exposes the pods to the mini cube. And I'm not sure how it's how it's done here. This is yeah, the pod has its internal internal IP address. So this is this is 2222, it's internal, it's uh, visible only inside the Kubernetes cluster. So the service exposes a public IP which we can call 3333. Maybe it also exposes ports. I'm not sure here. I, I think it doesn't. The ports are token from the uh, the ports are talking from the pod so you can uh, you can correct me in the comments and this also says that it has port 80 and this service is going to be of type load balancer because i wanted to have like multiple pods serving the, the same service. So this service says I am exposing address 3333 on port 80 outside of the Kubernetes. So this whole thing is now wrapped. I'm going to do it like this. This is all wrapped into Minikube. 
which itself is also a Docker container because it was the easiest way how to deploy it on the Raspberry and it's also the default one. So Minikube is its own uh, Docker image. Let's call it, and it has, it has its own IP. Let's call it 4444. So if I want to, for example, uh, call get from my Raspberry Pi, this is, this is all my Raspberry Pi. If I want to call get to the pod, I have to, uh, only, only uh, the things that I can see is the Minikube pod, is the Minikube IP. Everything else is hidden in Minikube. So if I want to access the Minikube, the, this, those services, those public services that are public from Minikube, I need to call Minikube tunnel. I do it by also by command no hub and an ampersand at the end. So it's run on background and uh, the user who calls it can log out and it still, run, it still runs. So this is what I need to call. And now from the Raspberry, I can see all the public services from the Minikube. So I can now call get three 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 on port 80 and it will call the service through through the tunnel so though this service is now exposed from the minikube to the raspberry pi we are not done yet not in the slightest so now I can call get from Raspberry Pi to the service, to the service, which passes the call to the pod and the pod passes the call to the Docker container. So now I need to expose this IP outside of my Raspberry Pi, because this is internal IP inside Raspberry Pi. So how, how am I going to do that? I'm going to do it via, uh, via reverse proxy. I did it by Nginx. So Nginx reverse proxy this is a uh, yeah and I'm, I'm going to do it on ubuntu that's my configuration so this runs on bare metal i just uh, started as a service on Ubuntu in Raspberry Pi. And I say, everything which comes, every request for port 80, which comes to Raspberry Pi, pass to my service pass to three 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 port eighty. So now, if somebody outside 
the Raspberry Pi calls get three 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 no 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 get my internal IP of the Raspberry Pi inside my home network. It would be something like one nine two one six eight zero for example hundred it will on port 80 it will call my raspberry pi where nginx catches the request and says it came to port 80 i'm going to pass it to 3333 port 80 which goes to minikube to the service and it goes to the pod so now we have from the internal network we can call the pod and the final step is to set up the isb modem where i say in port forwarding whatever comes to port 80 pass it to 192168100 port 80 so that's it simple isn't it so when a user calls my home network.com it goes to dns he gets my uh, public ip which is 1111 in our example so the user get, calls get 1111 on port 80 this request goes to my isp modem which by the rule everything that goes to port 80 uh, pass through to raspberry pi from the internal network on port 80 then the request goes through reverse proxy which says everything that comes through to port 80, pass it to internal IP of the Raspberry Pi, 3333, port 80, which gets to the service inside Minikube, which says or which which has this i don't know where it is i think i think it's in the pod so uh, it says this service is load balanced by this pod there can be multiple of them if the pod receives a request on port 80 it passes it to the Docker container in the port 80 and the echo service uh, returns the response. So it goes all the way back through this, through this to the user. And that's it, guys. If there is some interest, if you want to see more of it, uh, please write me in the comments and I can make some more detailed video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.